hi guys my name is Ravi Singh and today in this video I'm going to have a look inside the new 7000 series Dell laptop the Inspiron 7560 now in my unboxing video of 7560 many viewers commented and asked about hardware part like SSD and if they can upgrade SSD or the RAM or not so here's the video and without further ado let's have a quick look inside the Dell 7560 now don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any updates. We upload videos regularly on interesting how-to guides. So to open 7560, we need few things. A guitar pick or a scrapper tool, a screwdriver and a towel or any soft cloth to place laptop on it. Now place the laptop on the soft cloth and open all the 11 screws. 8 of them will come out so put them in a container carefully. The remaining three screws at the top near the vents will not come out as they are locked from inside. Now we need a scrapper tool. You can also use a guitar pick. Just push the metal casing a little using your finger or the nails and use a scraper tool to slide down the line slowly. You will hear sounds of lock and locking. Continue sliding the scraper tool all around and then place the laptop down. Now carefully and slowly pull the casing and it will be opened. Don't use force as it opens up very easily and does not require any force. If it doesn't open, just check for any unscrewed screw or use the scraper tool carefully. So what we have inside 7560 is a SSD slot for the M.2 SSD and this lappy comes with a ADATA 128GB M.2 SATA 3 SSD. You can easily upgrade it with a bigger M.2 SATA 3 SSD easily. On the other side, we have two sodium RAM slots for 2400MHz DDR4 RAM. Now this comes with a SK Hynix 8GB DDR4 RAM. Now the purpose of opening this laptop was that I need to add more RAM to this lappy. And I already discussed this with the Dell customer support and they said we can open this laptop on our own and this will not void any warranty. Just make sure no physical damage is done to the lappy. Alternatively, I can also take it to the service center and they will not charge me a single penny beside the cost of the RAM. But I wanted to do it by my own and I will be adding a Kingston HyperX Fury 8GB RAM to it soon. I have already ordered it from Amazon and it will be delivered within 2-3 days. Now why I am upgrading is because I often get warnings about low memory on this laptop so it's necessary. I use softwares like After Effects and Adobe Premiere Pro simultaneously and they require a lot of space. Then we have this huge 42W R3 cell prismatic battery. The backup is not that good, it's average for my task and I wish to upgrade this battery if it's possible. Currently it's not, but in future if I can get a 75 or a 65 watt hour battery, it will be really good. But currently I always use power cord when I work on After Effects and Premiere Pro, otherwise it lacks a lot. You can use it for all other tasks on the battery power, but not heavy tasks. So this was all in this video on the first look inside the 7560. I hope you liked it. Hit the like button and make sure you subscribe to our channel for more such interesting videos and how-to guides. I will be back soon with another video. Thanks for watching guys. Have a great time.